means all of us, our lives, when we first heard them. We thank Yahweh for the man of God that Yahweh has anointed amongst us. Amen. But we also know the devil presents himself too. So every time the word's going forth, he always has to say, has something to say. Amen. But we thank Yahweh for the man of God, Apostle Washington, for teaching us what we know. For opening up our eyes unto the truth. Amen. We thank Yahweh for such a man in our life that truly has given himself to the ministry and always there for the, the church itself. No matter where he is, he's always thinking about the body. Of course, he sends his love to everybody. Amen. Amen. Pastor Bibbs also says he sends his love to the Church of Lubbock as well. Amen. Amen. But I'm not going to prolong the time. We do have our beloved evangelist, Davis. So let the church please stand and receive him by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Uh, praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. You can all be seated. Let's truly thank Yahweh for all things. Thank Yahweh for the songs and testimonies that were rendered unto the Most High. And may he receive them. Hallelujah. And we know he'll, he'll receive them as long as we have clean hands. But I'm, you know, I'm thanking Yahweh, of course, for the trip down here. Thanking Yahweh for being with us over the dangerous highways and roads, because it's a, it is a long way from DFW down over here to Lubbock, and you know, many, many things can happen when you're traveling those kind of long distances. So we, so we're, you know, I don't, so I don't ever take it for granted when Yahweh sees us uh, over here, over here safely. Hallelujah. But of course, I give a double honor to Apostle Washington, all the, the bishops that labor among this way. I know I count myself highly blessed to be amongst that number. Don't feel worthy to, but I count myself blessed to be, you know, as I'm sure these other men, um, humble men, would say the same. But nevertheless, I thank God for my beautiful wife and for the children he's blessed under me and a grandchild and my grandson as well that he's blessed me with and you know, Yahweh has done great things among the, our household, you know, first coming from my, fa my father-in-law, Prophet Staniford, I mean, Apostle Staniford, and yes. hallelujah. Yes. You know, of course, I have, you know, I, I, you know, of course, I'm a Davis, you know, my last name is Davis, but, you know, I come under that, that, you know, he's our patriarch of our family as uh, Apostle Staniford, so that's, Amen. hallelujah. That's right. So I, you know, so my my goal was to not live a life separate from how he sh how he's lived his life yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah. because i see his works you know i see him and his wife how they've loved one another how they've grown so much and right. being pillars in this way and yes, you know of course following in the footsteps of apostle washington and amen and uh and mother washington yes, being perfect examples hallelujah but I'm, but I'm truly thankful, you know, I, you know, I thank y'all for my son, Christopher, of course, travel with me down here. And, Hallelujah. You know, he's been missing uh, coming down here to Lubbock. He's, in, in the past, there's been trips, some trips he tried to make down here, but some things have not always been taking place, maybe among the young people. And, and, um, and so this time there was another opportunity. He, he was with the brothers, but he, he really wanted to um, come down here. And, and, uh, Amen. And, and see the saints down here. So I, so I thank Yahweh for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, because that's, that's, that's the way of life. You know, you, you know, as parents and, you know, you bring, with us in this, in this life, it's like we bring our parents, we bring our, our children up. You know, we bring them so far. And then they, and then, we're, then we end up leaving off the scene. And then they bring their children, you know, so far, and then they, they're left off the scene. Amen. So it's important the impact that we have on our children. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I know if he's with me, you know, doing Yahweh's work, the work of the ministry, I know things will be well with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, of course, we, you know, good greetings to Apostle Washington, as was mentioned, doing the work in Mexico. And, you know, I was watching him and Zimapon and, you know, just 
praying to Yahweh just to continue to quicken his body. Hallelujah. Because the, the truth of the, the matter is, he's not getting any younger. He started this, he started this race off when he was in his, 20 years old. And now he's in his 60s. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he's been serving the Lord a lot longer than he was out there in the world. And I know as you get older, the, the, that's the way of the flesh. It wants to get tired and it can't do the, want, do the things that it used to do. So I, guess, so I say, Yahweh, just continue to quicken his body, quicken his mortal body. Hallelujah. But I'm thankful for Yahweh's word. You know, I thank you for you all that have pressed your way out to be here today in service. I know it's, um, you know, this is where we get our strength. This is where we get our help. We don't get our help from anywhere else. Hallelujah. You know, it's, it's you know, when we, when we decide to forsake to assemble ourselves, we can only, we only get weaker. We never get better. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's why it's important if you can make it out to the house of God, the house of Yahweh, if you can be here, be here. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it always starts off missing here and there, and, and before you know it, it becomes easy as, as something as you once saw glorious. Amen. You know, when you first see this thing, you're illuminated, your eyes are open. Yes, Lord. And Hallelujah. you can't wait to make it to Yahweh's house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, can't, you can't wait to see what the Spirit has to say to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, to see your fellow brothers and sisters. And, you know, that's why it's important that we strive in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's so important that we strive to do what's right to do. Strive to be that example. As we look around, our brothers and sisters, we ought to love one another more than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it's easy with a natural, like natural love, natural, um, but natural love is, is sensual, it's, it's devilish. Yes, it is. Because natural love will only go so far. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, through Yahshua the Messiah, we first experienced true love, true compassion. Think about that man's life. He was one that his life ended with him on the cross. A man that had committed no sin, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was talked about, done, just run down. Who is this man? Who, who do he, who do he say he, who, you know, who do he think he is? That's right. Claiming himself to be God. And he was, he was Yahweh in the flesh, yes, manifest was. in the flesh for our benefit, for those men's benefit that were speaking against him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But they still talked about him. But what did he do? Did nothing. All he did was show love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, when he was talking about, he didn't do anything. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, uh, he he wasn't going around cursing people out and 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 telling super people there were no good and there was nothing to them. He continued to show love and compassion. Yes, Lord. His entire race was that. So much so that even when he was on the cross, and there was there were still those that were saying, if you you know if you be the son of God, come down off of that cross. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. He he had the power. He didn't even have to be up there. Amen. Who are we as man? We, he had charge over angels. He could have sit down at any, any time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But still, he said, no, that's not my purpose here. My, my, my purpose is to be an example. My purpose is while I'm on the earth is to be a light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what, that was mentality. So, it, so even though he had the same flesh that we had on, he was able to overcome that because he said, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be a light. It doesn't matter what they're saying, how they're talking about me. I'm supposed to, I'm, I'm sitting here, my only purpose, I've been manifested to take away the sins of the world. And how am I going to do that if I become just like man? That's right. Who, man, is not forgiving. Man, man doesn't want to forget. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You do man wrong, they may never trust you for the rest of their life. Hallelujah. So true. So true. That, that's man speak. That's right. I'll never trust him ever again. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, I'll never, yeah, that, that's how men speak. But, but think about that. Think if Yahshua spoke that way. Think about if he thought that way. Because all of us, you know, all of us have fallen short and coming up, and, uh, you know, when it comes to Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the only one that walked this life without sin. But we all have sinned. I'm talking about even after you have come into the house of Yahweh, you have sinned. Yes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But see, he's shown you grace and he's shown you mercy. Hallelujah. So why not have a song and testimony? Why not come and give the praises of Yahweh? Not only in the song and testimony, but in your life. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, it takes it takes a made up mind to do this thing. I said a made up mind, right. not a wavery minded person, individual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know the scripture talks about a wavery minded mind. He's unstable in all of his ways, right. and it tells that man to let him know he's not going to receive anything of the Lord. Right. Hallelujah. Because there are things that we want. There are things we want in our life. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Talking about their natural things, of course, your things, you know, needs that we may have, a car, a house, or right. whatever. But I'm talking about the spiritual race you're on. You know, you're asking Yahweh for more patience, more strength. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it, we, ask, we ask of the Lord of these things. But you, don't you know by this hour when you ask how it's going to come about, it's going to come about in a way in which it's, it's going it, to, it, it's got to come, if you, if you ask it for patience, what that means is a situation has got to come up where it's going to test those patients. Yes, Lord. That's, That's right. the only reason why we gather patients. Yeah. Otherwise, if everything always goes every way you want, Amen. you know, people move exactly how you want to move. I want that done. And they just get up and go do it. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go, everything's instant for you. You know what? I would like this. And someone just comes and give it to you. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't have to wait for anything. Don't have to. Then you wouldn't get any strength. You wouldn't get any stronger. That's right. But don't you know it's through those times that where you have to wait. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The, the scriptures say, endure hardness as a good soldier. I said, as a good soldier of Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, a good soldier of Yahshua the Messiah. Amen. Hardness. That, so that's what that's telling me is that is going to be hardness that comes in our life. That's what that's telling me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, that, that's, that, that's how Yeshua's whole life was out. He says, if it wasn't true, I wouldn't have told you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, he says, if it, if it wasn't true, I wouldn't have told you. I wouldn't have wasted your time if it wasn't true, if you needed to Hallelujah. know these things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let's get into the word. Let's go over to um, Corinthians. We're going to, 1 Corinthians 5, we'll just start here. Amen. 1 Corinthians 5 and 1. Uh-huh. It is written. Yes, sir. It is reported commonly uh -huh. that there is fornication among you. Yes, sir. And such fornication mm -hmm. that it is not so much as named among the Gentiles. See how bad off the church can get yes. when you don't have your mind where it needs to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's having a, Paul's talking about a situation here where a man had his, 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 father's, his, his father's wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So much, uh, he was co consumed with so much lust, he was able to do such a thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He's talking to the, about, uh, about people in the church. He's saying, you're doing things that even, I'm not even hearing of the Gentiles doing these things. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you know those kind of things can go on in the church? If we're not concentrating ourselves, if we're not, if we're not caught up, if we're not taking this thing seriously, right here. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know it's funny. I didn't realize how. Uh, it wasn't until I got to the church I didn't realize how selfish. You can be, Amen. like out there in the world, there were things you call yourself selfish because maybe there was something you wanted and someone took the last of that, and or something you just didn't want to share with somebody. There were, there were selfish things we did that we just didn't like. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I didn't know about true selfishness until I got to the church. Because now the selfishness the church is talking about is our life. Amen. Like we're selfish with our life. We don't want to lay down our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we don't want to lay down our life for our brother, for our sister. Amen. What I mean by that is about being that example. We just don't want to be that example. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so being that example, I mean, there's going to be hard times. There's going to be times that come. I'm telling you, uh, a, a, a wife, your husband is going to try you. Husband, your wife is going to try you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But, but see, if you're selfish, meaning you just don't care, like you want your opinion, 
you're going to get your point across. You don't care about what anybody thinks of the situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, because yeah, because a bird, a bird will tell that you, you think all that is hid, but that bird of the air will tell the matter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. About husband and wife not getting along and arguing and everything. Amen. Because it's easy. It's easy to put up a front. It, it is very easy. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was a time when me and my wife were going through a trial when it when it do, uh, due to jealousy. It was jealousy was creeping in the in the picture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And don't you know we put we we had we were putting on a there were times when we put on a front as though everything was fine. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But at but at but at the house we knew about the what, how the real what the situation was. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At, at the house we knew the, the the bitterness that was in the air, the the Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That was all in the air at the house. Before people, we yeah, we said everything was fine. We're blessed. Amen. That's what we were. We're blessed. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but it left a bad. It would leave a bad taste in your mind because you know it's not true. You know you're not really being honest. And by staying that way, we're not helping me, her, or anybody in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but if we're not, but it, but if we're not careful, we don't. If, if we don't really consider one another, we won't change how we walk. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You, know, you, you come in this way to be born again. Amen. You're not, that, you're not supposed to be that same, that same creature that you once were. Hallelujah. 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 We have a young sister, I believe, that got baptized. Amen. You know, that's, that's what the church is about. The church is about burying that old man. Amen. And you, you, you're born again a new creature. Now that this new creature walks in the newness of life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, there were things that you, ways you wouldn't handle things in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Now when, it, when, it come, when those same things come, you got to remember the Messiah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And how are we going to help her if she don't see you doing the same thing? Amen. If, if you can't tell her, that's what you do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because there's going to come a time when you see her troubled. Yeah. Are you going to be able to go over to her and say, this is what I do in that spirit. I, 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 give, it, I give it up to Yahweh. Amen. I, don't let that, I don't let these things trouble me and tear me down. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Or, or, is your, or are you going to say, well, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's exactly how I feel. Amen. No. How's that going to help her? How's that help any of us? Right, right, right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How's hearing news that Paul's talking about? How's this news? Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. Read. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. Uh-huh. And, and such fornication as yes. it is not as named among the Gentiles. Yes, sir. That one should have his father's wife. See, our, our righteousness has to exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our righteousness has to exceed those. That's us as husband and wife. We've got to love one another. If we, how are you going to let people out there in the world that don't know God, how are they going to outdo you and, 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 you, and they get along more than you who are being taught of Yahweh? Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can that, how can that be? That shouldn't be. Amen. amen. Not in Yahweh's house, not when we've been taught so well. You know, I thank Yahweh for this teaching. I, I, I speak the same as you. I receive this teaching. Amen. I, I'm not a, I don't preach every service here in Mexico and in, 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 uh, uh, Pakula and right. in, in, in Arlington and Lubbock. I'm the only preacher, and I'm preaching every message. Oh, no. So I never sit down and hear what the word. That's not true. Not true. So, I, I, so when I speak this, I speak as an individual that sits down and I hear the word. Yes, Lord. And, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's telling me what I need to do to be saved. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, do I like what I hear? Do, do, does the flesh like the instructions? No. The flesh is not. The flesh will never because the flesh is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. That's right, Pastor. It said neither indeed can be. That's right. That means you can't make it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, you won't be able to make it. Yeah, you can't make this fl the, the flesh line up. You, so, so that's why the, 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 the uh, 
Spirit gives us a way out. It says, don't walk after the flesh, walk after the Spirit. That's right, that's right. Because it understands we can't, I mean, we're, 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 we haven't given up the ghost yet. The, uh, Yahweh has to come back and crack the sky. So we, have to, so we have to walk around in this flesh. Yes, we do. So we have a way out. We have an escape. He says, don't walk after the, the flesh, but walk after the Spirit. Amen. John 3 yes, and Yeah, so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, and it's so easy. It's so easy. You don't know how easy it is to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yeah, you can, you can fulfill the lust of your flesh just sitting there. The smallest gesture. Somebody asks you something, you just roll your eyes at them. Yeah. You're fulfilling the lust of your flesh. Yeah, that's right. What, I didn't do nothing to them? I didn't put my, no, yeah, you did, yeah, you, you did everything just with that eye roll. That told us everything what you think about, what they just said and what you think about that individual. That's right, that's right. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it could, yeah it, it, the, the, it'll speak volumes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But so that's why we have to consider one another. Yeah. Amen. We have to, you understand, we have to consider one another. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you have to consider the Messiah. It says, consider him that, that, that endured such uh, contradictions of, of sinners against himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we, 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 see, it hasn't been given, it hasn't been cast in your lap to go through what the Messiah went through. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the suffering and everything that he had to go through. I, you know, I, I thank Yahweh that. He manifested himself in the flesh, Amen. and he did that for us. Yes, Lord. So now what I have to do is walk in the same footsteps. Not, I'm not talking about uh, now I have to take up my cross. He says, take up your cross and follow me, but I don't have to take up a physical cross. Right. And I'm not right. going up to the Calvary to be, back, to be uh, crucified. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I just have to take up that spiritual cross. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He says, if a man come out to me, let, let him deny himself. Let him first deny himself. Let him take up his cross and follow me. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I remember hearing that when I first came here, and I was like, hey, man, I, 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 let, get, uh, I, 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 hallelujah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, it's easy to say, but then I realized what that entailed by doing that. Amen. And, I, and I realized, okay, it's going to take work to do this. Just, just like it would take work to carry a physical cross? Amen. It's going to take work to do this thing. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that, yeah, it's going to cause me a denying myself. I had to remember that. Let him first deny himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let him, let him first deny himself. Yeah, yeah. Spirit said, let him first deny himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And you are puffed up mm -hmm. and have not rather mourned. Yes. That he that has done this deed uh -huh. might be taken away from among you. And see, even the people weren't thinking right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because that, that, like, because you heard something that happened to someone else, now they're puffed up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just they, they, they see, they're no good. It's nothing. It's nothing to them. That be be done away with them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No mercy. No no uh, compassion. Amen. Yeah. That, that, that's where the spirit will put us at, not having compassion with one of another. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said not having compassion one of another. Amen. 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 But compassion is, compassion is going to cause you to lay down your life. Amen. I'm telling you, compassion is going to cause you to say, okay, let me, uh, I, I need to make a change in my life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, but only, but, 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 but see, only thinking on the Messiah will do those things. As long as your thoughts are on the earth, where, it says, where moth and dust do, do it corrupt, as long as you keep your mind on there, not on things above, but things on the earth, things will never get better for you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you'll hear this word, like I, like I came and I heard the word, and uh, you know, I was sharing with the Vias a lot of my testimony yesterday of where I had come from, and uh and those that knew me, even Sister Deesha knew me from those days in, in, in the Albertsons, where I came from. And, you know, I, and I shared, you know, I, I shared with her about all the, the, the how I adorned myself with the black, black fingernail polish, the skull rings, the skull necklaces, and all that, at working at Albertsons, at a deli. That's how I walked around. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
and we were, we were watching something, and there was somebody on there with, with a, and I said, if it was possible, I would have put contacts in my eyes that were just all black. <laughs> possible. Because I, that's what I was trying to show that I'm just, that, like, I, I'm disturbed and I'm proud of it. I'm disturbed. There's something wrong with me. Yeah, what was on the inside? I want you to know exactly what I feel like on the inside, on the outside. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dark, no good, no, nothing, just evil thoughts, evil thoughts uh, continually. Hallelujah. 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 But I came, but I heard a word, though. But I came to the church, and I heard words that I had never heard before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I would speak to them. I, you know, I would talk to them. And uh, it was just something about them that was, that was different. Hallelujah. They seem to have joy and, 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 and about themselves. And, uh, and of course, as, 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 as uh, me, the flesh, I, the flesh didn't like it. The flesh just couldn't understand it. It's like, why are y'all so happy? Why are you happy? What are you, what's there to smile about? Right. Especially Sister Rachel, who we know her and smile all the time. So imagine that person back there with me at the time. Yeah, two opposites. She was always smiling. I'm just like, what you smiling about? <laughs> Cussing, all that. Just no, you know, no, uh, uh, no uh, respect, no natural affection at all. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wanted people to come over, and then I wonder why people don't want to come over to the deli where I was at. <laughs> right. Because you have somebody with their hands on the counter with rings, skull rings on there. <laughs> 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 come get your ham. They're like, no, sir, I, pro I think we got it prepackaged over here. I, I, let me, let me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me go over here. I, yeah, no, I don't want to bother you. As a matter of fact, yeah, in other words, I'm scared of you. I don't want to. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, I, but then I, that was just, that was me with a life without Yahweh. Amen. Amen. I can't live that kind of life now in the church. Right. Meaning that old man, I buried that old man. Amen. With his deeds. You're supposed to bury that old man with his deeds. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, this church is like no other that I'd ever been to before. Because this, told, this made me change my ways. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning I, if, even if I tried to hold on to my ways, the spirit is always constantly, constantly getting on me. Amen. Telling me, you need to be better in this. You need to do this. You need to do that. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I remember before in, those, in a Baptist church I w went to, I went in full of sin, listened, but then left and just did, and just did every, every evil act before, as though I never went to church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, just stayed the same. Just stayed the same. I was probably baptized maybe five or six times just to do it. Yeah, just all different kind of ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there was something in it, I was like, what's in it for me? Who, okay, you get the most baptisms, you get a prize. Okay, if I get some, let me get some of that. If, okay, if I, I'll get baptized if I can get some of that prize that you're going to get. I'm telling you, just foolish. Amen. <laughs> yeah, just did things foolishly. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I did things just foolishly. But, but I came here, and the Word was able to really change my heart. Yes, Lord. Really Hallelujah. change my heart. I, I can say I'm not that old man. I'm not that same man that I used to be. Amen. I can honestly stand before you and say that. I can even say I wasn't even the same man that when I first came in here. Amen. Because the Spirit has been helping me to shed this and shed that and shed, this and shed that along the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This thing helps us to increase, not decrease, increase. Amen. 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 But yes, sir. Amen. For I truly, as absent in the body, uh -huh. but present in the spirit, yes, sir. have judged already uh -huh. as though I were present. Yes, sir. Concerning him that yes. has so done this deed. Yes, sir. Amen. In the name of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. Uh -huh. When you are gathered together yes, sir. in my spirit with the power of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, sir. To deliver such a one unto Satan uh -huh. for the destruction of the flesh. Yes. That the spirit may be saved mm -hmm. in the day of the Lord Yahshua. I mean, anyone, anyone here want this to happen to them, to, to be delivered over to unto Satan? You get, you get so worse off that, that, you, that the spirit has to just deliver you over to Satan. Amen. Amen. That comes after being disobedient, 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 disobedient. 
because we're always being instructed. Yeah. But you find yourself being disobedient after disobedience after disobedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just can't love your husband no matter what the Spirit is saying. It's going over the same thing moreover and moreover, but you still can't find yourself loving him. You still have bitterness towards your wife. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, after a while, the Spirit has to just deliver you over to Satan. And so you just learn not to, so you can learn not to blaspheme. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Because we blaspheme from our life when we're not being, when we find ourselves being uh, 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 disobedient and not do, uh, following the instructions that we're being uh, taught every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Amen. You'll find yourself getting worse off and worse off and worse off. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now, if you, then when you're not careful, those loved ones, those ones that, some of, we have loved ones that aren't even in here in the church, that aren't hearing what you hear. And they, after a while, they have an impact on your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said they begin to have an impact on your life. Amen. Yeah, they, they, start change, they start changing how you're doing, how you're running this race. Amen. You listen to people that don't even know Yahweh, that don't, that don't walk by his commandments. Amen. And they're trying to tell you how to live life. Right. And, you, and you take heed to it. You say, yeah, that is, yeah, I'm going to do what you say. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though you have a man like Apostle Washington, you know he has laid down his life. He's been, a, he's been such an example to us, such a Amen. perfect example to us. Hallelujah. Giving you, giving you counsel, gives you wise counsel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to take heed to that counsel. But mom and dad that aren't in here, brother and sister that aren't in here, ch your children not in here, they have something for you to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you want to give heed to that counsel. Amen. 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 <laughs> you know, I, I thank Yahweh for uh, Apostle Washington because his, his thing has always said, uh, give me a holy man and I'll listen. Give me a holy person and I'll listen to that individual. Amen. That's how he judges matter because we can all talk. But let, get, let, let a holy man speak and I'll, and I'll hear what they got to say. Amen. Hallelujah. But somebody's life who's all messed up, they got something to say to you. They have a, a, a counsel to say for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and, you, and you're going to give heed because you're tired of being, you, you, you know, you, you, you want to do things for yourself. You, the, you, you, you're tired of, uh, things got to change. And they give you a, a way in which things, okay, they'll change, but it's all according to the flesh. Not your spirit. It's all according to the flesh. Amen. So you give heed to it. Right. And you'll be like many that we see. We look, I'm looking out right now. I, I, there are many here that when we first begun this thing here in Lubbock, I look out and see many that aren't here. Amen. Many just gave up. Many that said that uh, preached to you uh, uh, of salvation, gave testimony, sang to you, uh, uh, encouraged you to do this thing. But look, they gave up and went back out there into the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now the life's all messed up now. Yeah, all messed up now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, and you'll find yourselves in those same shoes if you don't get the heed to what the Spirit is saying. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Read. Amen. Your glory is not good. Uh huh. Know you not that a little leaven yeah. leaveneth the whole lump. And see, it don't really take a whole bunch to get you off of where you need to be. Amen. It says a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. A little you in the picture destroys everything. Hallelujah. 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 I'm a witness to it. A little of your ways messes up everything. <laughs> yeah, you start putting your way in it, you destroy everything. Like Apostle Washington gives that uh, example of the poison, like strychnine. And it only takes a drop of that poison in a cake to mess up the whole entire cake. Yeah, it, yeah. Let somebody drop a, a piece of that cake. Okay, you really like cake? Well, <laughs> you, you, unless something's wrong with you, you know you're not going to take a piece of that cake. That's right. That's unless right. something's wrong with you. That's right. Unless you say, I, I don't care. I'm going to risk it. I like cake too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, li I like it too much. I don't care. It, it, it was just a little drop. It, it's, not, it's nothing. And you take it, and that person, get, and, and person dies from it. Our ways can be so strong that we hold on. We can walk in, in, into certain destruction. I'm talking about into certain destruction. Amen. You know things ain't going to work out. But you want to establish your way so much, you're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, and it's like he says, like cancers just start spreading. Yeah, and then you just regret. Yeah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And we find ourselves having a lot of regrets. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have said that. Amen. You know, my oldest is not, he decided to go out there and not serve Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I know that me and his mom, we were, we, in that house, we didn't give him a reason. He got on up and he made up in his own mind that he wasn't going to serve God anymore. It's not, it's no benefit to him in his life. He's not getting anywhere in life. <laughs> Matter of fact, his, his younger brother is doing more than he is now. <laughs> yeah, his brother got his, got his car, got his license now, got a good job, got a, got a wife, got a child. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he don't have nothing. He don't have anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah he, he, he didn't have to go out there to get all that. He stayed in the church. Yeah, does he have his short, does he have his growing to do? Of course. Who does? Yeah, Zeke has his growing to do. Who doesn't have growth to, to, to do in here? Right. But but I'm so proud of him because he's he's staying in the way. He's staying Hallelujah. in the way. Uh, he's speaking with such soberness. Yes, he is. Down in uh yes, down in uh Arlington. Arlington, we had a meeting where we had us brothers talk about um, you know, sisters got the wives got together and talked about uh uh things and stuff they wanted to work on and the, and the husbands and even those that weren't married were part of that group because we wanted them to hear, you know, if you have a desire to be a husband, okay, we're going to put you on the right road. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we had our, us husbands talking about it, he, and, and he was talking with such soberness because it was all about the word. Yeah. Like every, every time he said what he was going to do, he brought back to what he heard over the pulpit and what examples he saw before him. It was That's all right. about the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I remember I looked at him and I said, son, I'm just, I'm so proud of you. Hallelujah. Because I, because I know as long as you stay steadfast in the Lord, things are going to work out for you. Yeah. You got married and said, those that married, you're going to suffer in the flesh. You're going to go through things. But as long as you stay in, in as long as you, y'all both stay and see, that's what it's going to take. That's why the scripture says you husbands, you wives, it's going to take both of y'all yeah. to do this thing. Your hus- uh, I, I, I'm sorry to say it, but Robert, she, she, her righteousness won't be able to save you. Destiny, you hit, however he walks, however well he's doing, it won't be able to save you. Amen. It's going to take both of y'all with a made-up mind. If, it's gonna, if the marriage is going to be beautiful at all, it's because both have their mind made up to do Amen. what's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That, Hallelujah. That's the example. That, that's the example. There is no other example. That's right. That's the example we got from Apostle Washington and Mother Washington, uh, Apostle Stanford, uh, 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 yeah, Mother, uh, uh, um, uh, Sister Charay, uh, uh, Prophet Jenkins, uh, his wife, all those that you see in the church that, that husband and wife love enough, both have made up in their mind that they're going to do this thing the right way. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It takes both yes, to do Lord. this. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So see how important it is that you don't have no time but to work on yourself? You don't have time to work on your spouse. Amen. You got too much to work on yes. about yourself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not, that's not me looking at you saying you got too much. I'm talking about me. <laughs> yeah. I know I have too much that's right. That's to right. me to work on to worry about Nicole. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. yeah, I'm in the flesh. I got flesh on, so I got, I'm beating and bringing this body under subjection. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the time, I, at the end of the day, I'm wore out just because I've been battling Satan. Right. Not her. I'm not wore out because, yeah, me and her went at it. No, I'm wore out because me and Satan went at it. Yeah. He was in my head all day long yeah. trying, to go, trying to get me to go contrary. Hallelujah. Trying, trying to get me to say this, say that. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> he don't care. Satan is just sitting there. He, he, at the end, he sees, he sees your house all ripped up and destroyed. And he's just smiling. Because he, he know he got you. That's Drinking right. a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He has you. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he, so he, he so, so he don't get tired of talking to you. Amen. Because he knows he, he knows he can get. He, he knows he's gonna get some. He knows he's not gonna get everybody, but he knows he's gonna get some. So he, so he gets in the ear and starts talking to you. Right? You gonna take that? You, you gonna let her do that? You gonna let him say that? You gonna let them get? On you? Look, she's getting over on you. Look, he's getting over on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Satan talking to me the same thing. Amen. 
who wants bitterness to come me towards me in the cold, towards me and my uh, my wife. Yeah, all the time trying to get, uh, you know, because the Spirit said, give, you know, we give the wife the money. Amen. Because she is a chaste keeper at home. Hallelujah. So it's right that she has all the money. That's what the Spirit instructed. And things are well because we follow that. Amen. But Satan still will come and say, see, she got all the money. She can do whatever she want to do. That's right. Yeah, she can buy whatever she wants at any time because she got the money. Right. Yeah, you ain't, you, and you, and you ain't got anything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like, it paints a picture like you walking around with, pat, you know, patches on your jeans, <laughs> shirt, tore jacket, right. hat with a hole in it. That, that's how the Satan have you walk. See, look, that's how you walking around looking. Amen. Look, Amen. She dress, she's arrayed in the finest, no. <laughs> <laughs> have her arrayed in the finest clothes that's and right. all this. And, yeah. You pulling that lint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. all of a sudden, yeah, you all of a sudden, uh, there's something you want. She said, no, it's not the time. And all of a sudden, that, and then all of a sudden, you see her coming out with sacks of things, and you're like, "Wait, I thought it wasn't the time." All right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you're not careful, that will spring into an argument. Yes. Amen. Yes, you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And of course, we're all instructed in here. Even the wives are, even the wives that have been handed the money, they're instructed on how to spend. Amen. They, re they realize the husband is still the head. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah. The communications is key. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't just say, here you go. Uh, sisters, you're loose. Here's the money. Do what you want to have with it. You got it. No. Yeah, that's not how this works. You still got to communicate with your Lord. You got to yes, tell him if, if you're going to spend this and spend that. That's what Nicole will, uh, and, and see, and I have to make sure that I'm, I'm there and I'm intending because sometimes I'm busy doing things and she'll, she'll, okay, she'll have the finances out and, and trying to show me and I'm just like, that's, that's fine, sweetheart. That's, because I, 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 I have trust in her. Yeah. I know she's just not spending the money foolishly and doing all kinds of things. So she'll say, okay, we're put, this is what we're getting for tithing and offering, and this is what's going toward this and this. And, this. and she'll lay everything out when she has the money. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, if I, but, um, but that's because I, I trust my wife. But there are, things when I, if I, if there are things that I hear that say, oh, no, we, should, we, can't do, we shouldn't do that right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, we, oh, we can't afford that right now. It's amen. Amen. It's not the, the, the house ain't turned upside down because I said we can't afford this. Right. And, and now and she's out to get her uh, her way. So 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 everything is just going to go chaos in the house. No. We both been taught by the spirit. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said all of us have been taught of God in here. All of us. Amen. Hallelujah. We only have Hallelujah. one new person in here. Yes, one right. new sister in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. We, we, only, only one new sister in here. The rest of us, we, we know better. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, you should be. What, what's her name? Sister Adali? Yeah, Sister Adali. Yeah, you shouldn't be. Uh, now, what is it with y'all sisters going to her? Sister Adali, what should I do? Like, she just got here. Right. <laughs> sister Adali, what do, what do I do? What do I need to do in this area here? Yeah, with my husband, or what, what, what I need to do with here. This sister said this to me. Sister Dolly, what should I say back to her? Hallelujah. That would be a shame unto you. That's right. That would be a shame to you. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that. that I mean, that's wonderful. If she's if she coming here and she's flourishing and she has that kind of spirit, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's not taking nothing away from her. What I'm saying is you've been around, you've been here for years. Yeah, it's shame on your part. Amen. Yeah, you've been here for years, and you, just, you still don't know how to possess this vessel. Yeah, still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we got to love. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you find ourselves at ease in Zion. That's right. At ease. And don't you know when you're at ease, that's when things, you become at ease. That's right. That's when your tongue, that's when your tongue go to talking, and hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, hallelujah. When, the, that's when feelings come out when you're at ease. Yeah. Yeah, I never liked them anyway. You just go to talking. Yeah, I always had a problem with him. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're right. Yeah, that, that um, you know, that's why you got to be sober-minded. Because even naturally, so you get a person drunk, they're going to spill everything. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're going to spill, they're going to spill, the, they're going to spill everything. All their feelings are going to come out. You know, I never loved you anyway. You know that. <laughs> a husband tore, a wife tore her husband. 
Yeah. Yeah, just because drunkenness comes in the picture. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you don't even have to be drunk with, not, you don't have to actually be drunk with uh, alcohol to talk like that. Because <laughs> you, you can sound like that even being, uh, even without a drop of alcohol. Yeah. I hate you. And you haven't had a drop of alcohol. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how they, because they'll blind you. That's it. And they'll have you speaking your feelings. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to get this off my chest. No, keep it on. Keep it in your chest. Don't take it off your chest. Leave it there. <laughs> yeah, give it to you. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, take, don't take, get it off your chest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, believe me, there have been times where I wanted, where I felt that. I need to, yeah, I need to say this right now. No, you don't need to say it right now. No, keep, keep your, nope. No, keep a bridle on that tongue. Amen. You don't know what you're about to do. You're about Hallelujah. to do thing. You're about, you're about to lay destruction. Yeah. Just because you feel like you have to you have to say something mm -hmm. right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, but not careful. That's what we'll say. We feel like we have to. Well, I, I, I'm just tired. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm tired of having to keep my mouth all the time. That's Amen. Right. Yeah, That's so right. yeah, this tongue. Yeah, you got to bridle this thing. You have to bridle this tongue. That's right. Hallelujah. But it says your glory is not good. Amen. Uh -huh. You know yes. that you know not that a little leaven uh -huh. leavens the whole lump. Yes, sir. Purge out therefore the old leaven. Uh-huh. That you may be a new lump. Yes. As you are unleavened. Uh-huh. For get even out. the Messiah. Yes, Amen. sir. Get, yeah, get purge out all that old that old man that, that shouldn't purge out all those things that shouldn't be there. Amen. Amen. You, you got to do the work to get rid of it yourself. Hallelujah. 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 Right. Yeah, there are things the Spirit is asking. There are things about ourselves, like me. Um, I, I, I find myself wanting to be uh, 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 selfish, not wanting to, to, to help my, my brothers and my sisters. Right. Okay, well, I got to purge that out because yeah. that can't be. There, yeah. there are things in you that, that, that can't be named once among you as becoming saints. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, there are things you got to be purging out of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, saints are involved in good things. That's right. This work in Mexico is a good thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. 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 It's a very good thing. So the Spirit is asking for us for sacrifices. So it's asking for these marches and these, and these like, uh, 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 brother's dues, brother's sister dues, those things. Participate in those. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, as you see, uh, if you if you were tuning in to Facebook, you saw you saw he's out there he's out there doing a work right now. He's out there in the streets preaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. And and if and if, and if you don't think on nothing, you just look at that. You just swipe right by it. Like you'll be on Facebook, that'll pull up, but it'll be something else. You just swipe by that and and find something else, some uh, funny video or something. You just swipe by the man of God preaching, and you say, I won't. I, uh, I'll watch that next time. No, you won't. Because we'll go and look on the views. It'll be the same people that watched it <laughs> as it was live. I'll, I'll, I'll watch that later. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, what I'm saying is these things that are going to make us better, yeah. we won't find ourselves doing. Amen. Just, just like these services. If you don't go back and watch them, you don't open your Bible up and read, there are things that you, if you're not doing, you're not going to get any better. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to get any better unless you start applying what the Spirit is asking you to apply to your life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we're going, saints, I, I know the conditions of some. We're going through things in here. Amen. But it's going to take the Spirit. It's going to take the Word. That's how you're going to get through it. Amen. It's, it's not going to. It's not going to be helped by any other source. Yes, Lord. Because the more you keep putting your hand to it, it's going to mess things up. Amen. It's going to. It's going to further. Uh, it's going to further separate you. Uh, you're going to find. Uh, it's that the spirit will say, "What? What's going to separate? What shall separate you from the love of the Messiah?" And so you'll be able, you'll start naming things what separate. Well, my wife, that's what separate me from the, my husband. That's what separate me from the love of the Messiah. My brother and my sister, my the laziness in me, that's what separate me from the love of the Messiah. Amen. Yeah, true. Yeah, all these things you'll start, you'll start naming things personally in your life that you're going through. That's, and that'll be the excuse why, why you're not giving your all to serve Yahweh. 
Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, you're up here, uh, up here singing. You see how important, Michael, for you to be up here, be at the church and, and, uh, you know, you're able to edify the saints. Amen. But they got it. They have to have you here. They need you here. And so you got to have your mind focused on, I know what you got going on in your life, but the only way you're going to help that, help your wife, whatever this is, your, 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 your focus has to be on, on the work of the ministry. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy. You'll, go in, you'll, go, you'll literally go crazy. And you'll find yourself doing crazy things. If you're not, yeah, if you, yeah, in your situation, you'll find yourself doing things off your head. Whatever you think of, you'll do. And you'll find yourself hardening yourself and you'll make things worse off and worse off and worse off and worse off. Amen. And look around. And, 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 and next thing you know, we look around, we won't see you anymore. That's what lays ahead for you. Hallelujah. You, it's obvious you got a gift. All of us, you got gifts in here that the Spirit needs. Hallelujah. Sister Man, you got a gift. You got a beautiful voice. As you've been in here, I just know that it's, it's just maturing. Like it's, it's just getting, it's getting better and better. That's why it's important that y'all love one another. Y'all do what the Spirit is instructing y'all. That's why it's so important. Hallelujah. And you can hinder that. You being the head of the house. You, you, you watch your wife sit up here and sing and give a, a beautiful song. Well, you not loving her, it's not going to cause her to get up here and sing. She's not going to want to get up here and sing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, not want to give in because that's, that's how we are. Like, if things aren't well. I mean, when, when things aren't well, you, you can look and see. You'll see that our countenance, our, uh, our countenance always tells. Yeah, our countenance, our countenance speaks against us. So whatever we say, we can say uh, everything is well and Yahweh, you know, uh, praise Yahweh and yes, I'm, I'm blessed. But our countenance speaks against us. So when we're saying we're blessed, it's showing you're not blessed. Hallelujah. You're not blessed because you're not, you're not sacrificing yourself. You're not laying down your life. I see you. I see that old man. I see that old woman there. They're still alive. You, you're not, they're supposed to be buried. Hallelujah. 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 They're supposed to be buried. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yeah, the Spirit's calling for us to be men in this way. Men. That's, right. That's what the Spirit is needing. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, the Spirit's calling for you to be women. Like women, servants of Yahweh. Uh, us as men, servants of Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's where your battle is going to be. Yeah, yeah. Your battle is going to get here. I mean... <laughs> I mean, yeah, we we I look out, I see everybody in their modest apparel. I see the the with your head coverings, all that. That's I mean, so we know what to do when, once we come in here. But I'm telling you, it's at the house. <laughs> That's where your battle is going to begin at the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> why not? Why not make things well at the house? Right. Why? 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 It's like why? Why do you have to have your way so much? What is it? Tell me, why, why do you need your way so much that you're willing to sacrifice peace at the house? Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, why, what, yeah, why, yeah, husband has to walk on the eggshell. Wife has to walk on the eggshell. You got to be careful. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's not no example. That's right. That's not, we don't hear about, that's not the example. That's not, see, because I always point back to the wa Apostle Washington in his house. Of course, we have other houses as well, but see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use him. If, if it takes me to point to him for you, see, I won't even use, there's, it's not even like that in my house. But I tell you what, I'll point back to Apostle Washington. Yeah, I'll point back him, who we all got our teaching from. Now, the example is him. They're not talking about how they're on eggshells in the house and, and there's no peace there. And, and they, they told you once upon a time when they allowed Satan in, and, and Satan was in the picture. Amen. And yeah, of course, when Satan's in the picture, it's going to be all kind of chaos and, 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 and husband and wife not loving one another and all that, of course. But once they got their mind right and said, we got to put down this foolishness, yeah, for the kids' sake. Ever since then, all we know about them uh, is good. Amen. That's all. I, see, I didn't see none of that. So all I know about them is good. That's right. I, I only know about that because of testimony. 
Yeah, because he says it. But otherwise, I wouldn't have said that. I w- if you point out a, a, a people lineup and ask early on who was like that in their marriage, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have said him and Mother Washington. Oh, no. Because right now, they're not showing fruits that that's what they started off with. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But because they, they've been purging this whole time, purging all the old that living out, purging it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, and it takes work to purge it out. It don't just come over. You don't. You don't blink your eyes. You don't blink your eyes like was I uh, dream of genie and all that kind of stuff and bewitched and you just blink and it, it, you snap your fingers and things are fixed. Yeah, yeah, he ain't gonna do like that. He's Amen. not. No, no, you gotta put some work in. <laughs> you got. You got to show. You got to show me something. Amen. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta show me that you're diligently seeking me, because he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him, not do it, not do it for a day and then knock off. <laughs> yeah, right. We, yeah, we have many witnesses, because you, because you try both ways. You try it, okay, let me do it one day, two days and knock off, and then okay, let me do steadfast and let me just keep doing it. That's when you saw the results. That's right. Not when you did it for a day and then the next day. Uh, you didn't feel like doing it anymore. Like now, like you felt like cooking this day. Uh, Sometimes, whoo, two days, three, oh my, a week. You cook for that entire week. Woo wee. You cook for that week. You said you, you, didn't, you just gave yourself over. You may have come off a of concentration and you just said you've been cooking. Yeah, you're just doing that for a week. Lord. Then that next week comes. Uh. I'm tired of cooking. I'm tired of cooking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm done. Amen. Amen. And now there's the, the hallelujah. And of course you have a husband. See, you, you have a husband who has a mind right. He's he going to have patience. He's not going to come in the house tearing things up and just flipping over tables and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, but, but see, it's all, about you, it's all about you perfecting your own self. It's not so much that, that the meal just has to be there to, uh, just because you, you're just trying to please just him. You're trying to please the Almighty. Amen. Because um, if, uh, if you're just trying to please him, if he, if he comes home anything other than the perfect husband <laughs> to you, any, if you see anything from him, you're not going to want to. You, there are things you're not going to want to do for him. Amen. That's what I'm saying. That. So it. So it. So it takes us having to please Yahweh. Then you please. You automatically please him if you're pleasing Yahweh yes, first. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's how spiritual minded people think. Yes, Lord. Like Hallelujah. that's how. Like that. When I know Apostle Watch, that's how I know he thinks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's like, I'm the peacemaker. I want peace. So I'm going to sow. I'm going to, I, I want peace, so I got to sow peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, what you reap is what you sow. Yeah, you out there sowing seeds. You out there, okay, you, you out there planting seeds. And you just, you just, don't, do, you, you just out there sowing something. You're like, I want some apple trees. And you don't even know if you got apple seeds. You just out there sowing something. You're just like, you just putting seeds in the ground. And all of a sudden, they come up and they're just sunflowers. You're like, I want an apple. T- what? I, 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 I've been waiting all this time. I want an apple trees. Well, well you, didn't sow, you didn't sow apple seeds. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You sow sunflower seeds, so that's what you get. So what you put into it, what you're going to get out of it. Hallelujah. If, if, you put in, if you put in good, you're going to get out good. Yeah. Amen. If you put in bad, you're going to get out bad. Yes, Lord. <laughs> that's how this thing works. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, you, you go to work. That's all right, Pastor. That's how, yeah, you expect to get work for, for working a job, like punching a time clock, clock, whatever. You expect to get paid at the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You miss some days. You get, can't be surprised if the check is short. I, what? My check is short. Well, you out. You missed three. You called in two, three days this week. What you expect? What you time you put in, that's what you got paid for. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how this thing works. Yes, it does. Amen. Yeah, what you, yeah, of the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. Uh-huh. Yeah, if you sow to the flesh, of the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, you get, yeah, you're going to reap, you're gonna, and you're going to hate that you're what you're reaping. Yeah. I, 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 
when you sow the wrong thing, you, you hate what you have to reap because of it. Because it's going to come back on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I learned that about this place, that, you know, the Spirit's going to go forth. It's going to be still like the rain. It's going to fall like the rain. It's going to be still like the dew. So, what it, so, so the Word's going to go out, and it's going to accomplish what it pleases. So it, it, it's going to accomplish what it pleases Him. So there are things that we're going to do. You do the wrong thing, you're going to reap what you sow. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, you're going to reap what you sow. Amen. But see, those that, but see, when you're buffeted for your own faults, you got to take it patiently, though. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yes, Hallelujah. See, because there are some of us that have done things, but, but see, see, there's still a way out, though. Why, even while you're buffeted for that, you treated your, you could be one that has been uh, treated your wife wrong. You've been, you, you just haven't loved her according to what the Spirit is saying. Now you decide that you're going to do it. And now uh, she's, she's, she's not there yet because that trust is not there. And so she may still say things and may do things. Okay, when you're bumping in front of you, that was your own fault. Yeah, take it patiently. Have patience in that. Don't change and say, well, I tried. I'm going to go back to the way I know. Don't go Amen. back to the way things were. Yeah, when you're bumping it for that, you take it patiently. Yeah, 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 yeah. I deserve what I'm going through right now. I wasn't loving my wife. I wasn't, I wasn't reverent my husband the way the Spirit had to say. So I deserve what I'm going through right now. Amen. Whatever it is. You, yeah, whatever it is. Whatever you decided to go out there and do or, what, or, or, or you know, you, 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 you decide to give into the flesh. And whatever, whatever it is you give into the flesh, you got to reap what you sow. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you got to reap what you sow. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, in this way, always causes you to, because even with my oldest, I still always look back on my, with my, my oldest son. And, uh, and see, I did something with him that the Spirit, told, the Spirit had said ahead of time to not do. Is that when your child gets of a certain age, you just can't. Uh, discipline your child like I like he was when he was five years old. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the situation came up where he was uh, he was being disobedient to us as his parents. Amen. But it's it's past the time of 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 uh, like spank like uh, spankings and, and and whoopings like with a belt and all that stuff. He they he moved past that time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I decided, but I was just so upset at the time. I let my flesh take over. Yeah. So I took out my belt, and I began whooping him. And, of course, he's, he's big now. So, like, he, had to, he was of age at that time, so he, he grabbed it from me. And then now, all of a sudden now, he's, he's, uh, he ended up pushing me off of him. That's my son, so I'm not going to do anything back to him. I, I came to my sins. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fight my own son. Hallelujah. 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 But it's things you think about. So then later on in time, you are like this way can't help but slow slow you down. Amen. So you, so you think about things like that. Yes, Lord. So he's not. You know, of course, he got of age where he's not serving Yahweh, but but. Just our mind, the mind, the way that the spiritual man thinks, you always think about, did that have an impact? Did, did I lay him down? Did I, did I let him down? You know, just like the man of God, Apostle Washington, always thinks there are things he thinks about. That, things that he done, did, 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 at one time, did I put something in them that, that led? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's something that even today, I, that made me tighten up everything about how I, so now it's, even though he's not in his way, it's love. I show love toward my son in hopes that he might return to this way. Knowing that his, mo that his mother, his, his father, his, his uh, siblings were still serving Yahweh. Hallelujah. We love you, son. We're just going to serve him. You've chosen not to. But in this house, as for me and my house, we're going to serve Yahweh. You made the decision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, you made that decision to do it. Yes. Hallelujah. But, but just as a spirit-minded individual, these are the things we think about. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Because, see, I know that there's one day I'm going to have to stand before Yahweh. Amen. I have to give an account for myself. Yes. I have to give an account for myself, for all the deeds that I've done, whether they've been good or evil. I have to give an account for myself. Yes, Lord. So when I think on things like that to my, to, uh, with my son, it, 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 it causes me to run this race even more, be more serious about this thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because see that, see just a moment of me got in the way. Amen. It's just a moment of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all it took was one moment of me, of a weakness for me to forget about the examples that I heard and been taught. Amen. Just one moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so to even to this day, I sit when I think about it, it brings tears to my eyes. Because it was just one moment. It was, a, it was a silly moment. It was a, one stupid moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say it's stupid because I, I look in the mirror and say, you're a stupid man for having done that. Amen. Even to this day. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you can't change the past. But see, my son loves me. I saw him, oh, yeah. he, res he, he respects me right. so much. Amen. He is respectful. Uh -huh. I'll say that about him. Oh, yeah. While he's in the house with us, he's respectful of us, very respectful. Uh -huh. Because we told him how it, how it was going to be in the house, Amen. what the rules we had of the house. Right. And he's abiding by those rules. So therefore... He's with us right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he's not having an impact. See, my thing is, I am always was watching because I said he's not going to have an impact on any other of his siblings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's why I said, that's why I told Zeke, I'm so proud of you. Because that was his older brother. Amen. He followed right behind him. They were close. They were so close. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were, they were thick. They, him and Zeke were always together doing things. But he didn't allow that his brother decided to give up. That didn't have an impact on whether or not he was going to serve Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why it's so important. That's why it's so important. Because see that, look what, and look what Zeke had an impact on. Even on his, I, I told him, I said, I'm so proud of you because even for Christopher, that has an impact on him. Would you continue to serve Yahweh? Y'all going to rub off on one another. Amen. With him doing it, it's going to rub down to his sister, and it's going to rub down to his brother. But I said, but so I'm, ca I'm counting on you as that head, because I can't, I can't count on your brother anymore. But I'm counting on you, because believe me, I'm going to do my part as your father. I'm going to serve Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, I'm going to serve the most high and do what he's calling for me to, to do. But, but, but. But in this house, we got to serve Yahweh. We have to do this thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. To your reading. Amen. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven. Yes, sir. That you may be a new lump, uh -huh. as you are unleavened. Yes, sir. For even the Messiah, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Yes, sir. Therefore, let us keep the feast, mm -hmm. not with the old leaven, yes. neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, uh -huh. but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Yeah, these things, see, we just tell them, the Spirit tells us what we need to get rid of. Amen. We need to get rid of malice and wickedness. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now, what should be dwelling in us is sincerity and truth should dwell in you now. Yes, Lord. Because we had some, the past time of our life suffi sufficed us. It said when we wrought the will of the Gentiles, That's right. when we ran to every excess of riot. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, like I was saying, I was, I was uh, uh, sharing that with her yesterday, with her yesterday, the past time of my life. And it sufficed us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, because I, I, I love music. I ever loved uh like heavy metal music. I loved all that. Like I was a part of all that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So then when I was in there, you had people, like I was in there with all those, uh, I was telling them mosh pits of people banging their elbow in one another, kicking, kicking one another. <laughs> people with barbed wire on their arms swinging at one another. Like we, I was in the middle of all that. Amen. And that sufficed me to be in the middle and do all that and participate in all that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cra craziness. Men, men, women didn't matter. 
Just swing. You just started swinging. Whoever you hit, you hit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just crazy. I, yeah, I, yeah, I'll tell you that about myself. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was definitely crazy. Didn't have no kind of sense about myself. Not, not without you. Not without Yahweh. I, I didn't have any kind of sense about myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I want to be crazy for the Messiah. Back then, I was crazy as me, Chris. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, yeah, we would just, everybody be swinging, kicking one another, just doing roundhouses like you didn't know if you were hitting anybody, just kicking, just throwing elbows. And, yeah, just admit all of that. And you loved, and I loved all of that. That Amen. surprised me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, getting everybody sm everybody's uh, smoking down there. Everybody getting, everybody's drinking down there. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> knocked out. People just knocked out on the ground. <laughs> Not care that. Yeah, that was my pa that was a pastime of my life. Yeah, you don't come to my house now and it looks like that. Like people just knocked down all over the place. It's nothing like that. Yeah, nothing like that. That, but that suffices me. But, but the spirit. What, see what it's saying here? It says, "Get rid of the malice, the yeah. other, malice and the wickedness." Amen. It tells us to get rid of these things. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. But the unleavened, unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. It says in sincerity and truth. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. It Hallelujah. I'm telling you, it it's going to take us to be sincere about this thing. I'm telling you, it, it ta this is, takes you to be sincere about this race. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we got to be sincere about this thing, honest about ourselves, honest about the things that we need to change. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or else, you, yeah, you'll be honest, but you'll be honest about what... Robert will be honest about what he thinks destiny needs to change, and she'll be honest about what she thinks. Yeah, you'll be honest about that. Right. Amen. Right. Yeah, you really, yeah, I'll be honest with you. You really need to stop doing that. <laughs> you really need to stop saying that. Yeah, yeah I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah. I don't like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, you need to get up and go do something. I'm, 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 I'm trying to help. I'm being honest with you. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. But you got to be sincere. See, that, that, that kind of sincerity, truth, is going to always cause you to look at yourself. Yes. It's always, Jonathan, it's always going to cause you to look at yourself first. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see, you should measure your walk by your wife. See, I measure my walk by my wife. I'll be looking at her. Does, is my wife I have a smile on her face? Does she seem pleased? Does she feel, it's, important that, it's important to me that, my, that, that I look at my wife and I, and I, and I see with her that she's, that, that I know that she knows I love her. Amen, amen. That's what I'm trying to say. That's right. Like that should matter to you. Amen. Hallelujah, Robert. That should matter to you. That you, like when she looks at you, you know it's, it's sincere. You know she really knows that you love her. Right. Like she's not wrestling with whether or not you do or do, don't love her. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that that's something you have to yeah, yeah, you have to work on that. But yeah, 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 you're in your own field working on that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 you have to work on that. You and I'm telling you, you you have to work on yourself. Amen. You have to work on yourself. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Uh, uh, who was it? Uh, um, a dolly. I almost forgot it again. What a dolly. You know, because we, because weren't you all? You were all thrilled when she got baptized, oh, yeah. and 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 at the time, it's you know, it's, it's we were all going. You know, you you're doing the right thing, uh, Adali. I tell you, you're doing the right thing. Welcome, welcome to the welcome to the welcome to the Yahweh's house. Welcome, welcome to the fold. And, and you know, you're making the best choice you ever made. Remember that you're telling Adali. Remember you're telling her that. Don't make that a ritual. Just because it's, it's good for somebody to be baptized and you know what to say. Amen. You, it's like you got a card. Well, welcome to the Fallible Tree Church. You the Messiah. You made the best important choice of your life. Yahweh's going to bless you a hundredfold. <laughs> no. And, and, and you, so you know what's right to say. Right, right. But show her that why she made the right choice. Show her that this is where salvation is. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't want to run, run her off with your ways. Amen. Hallelujah. So you should be able to want to be able to go to her and say, you know, seek the kingdom of Yahweh first, and all these things will be added unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Right, yeah. She's able to look up at her sister and saw a true change. Amen. Believe me, if she hadn't truly changed, she wouldn't be sitting there right now. Because no one knows each other like brothers and sisters. We truly know one another. Yeah, secrets and all. She would know if she, she, would know if she had, if she really changed or not, that would have an impact on her. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, and I thank Yahweh for you, Sister Madeline. I mean, thank Yahweh. What a wonderful song that you sing up here. You know, Hallelujah. Yahweh is, you know, Yahweh is always right on time. You know, I see what you're doing back there with uh, dealing with Mexico. Yahweh always provides. Amen. You know, because Apostle Washington, he's always set his mind on serving Yahweh. So, so the Spirit has always been there for him. And Yahweh is always right on time. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, so I think so that's, that's, that's wonderful. But yes, I continue reading. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I wrote to you an epistle uh -huh. not to company with fornicators. Yes, sir. Yet not altogether with fornicators of this world uh -huh. or with the covetous or the extortioners. Yes, sir. Or with idolaters. Mm -hmm. For then must you need to go out of the world. See, we already told you how, how you're going to need to walk in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. But see, but the thing is... Uh, like I said at the beginning, if you're, not, if you're one that you have to have a spiritual ear, because if you're one that's company with fornicators, those that don't want to do uh, Yahweh's will, because fornication is, any, is, is, is not necessarily sex, but fornication is anything that defiles you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It says don't keep company with those kind of people. Right. Amen. Amen. You know, because it's... it's uh, Cause it's so funny because some of them fell prey to that kind of thought in the, in the in the past it's like now you want to uh you want to call yourself so-called wits into somebody and now all of a sudden you walk out and they change you yeah. not that you not that you change them yeah. but they didn't change in your ways <laughs> hallelujah that's why i said those that that those that are spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness yeah. I'm, i'll be flat honest some just aren't <laughs> spiritual minded enough to restore. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, some just can't restore. Yes. Because you you, uh, you walk away and you be tempted of it. Yes. So so see why it takes so so why it's important that you have a spiritual mind yes. at all times? Yes. Cuz you can't you can't even help. We can't even help with one another if I, if we don't have a spiritual mind. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go over to Galatians. Galatians 5. Galatians 5 and 1. Yes, sir. For it's written. Uh-huh. Stand fast, therefore, in liberty. Yes, sir. With, the, with which the Messiah has made us free. And see uh, what we've been talking about today. That he has made us free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but the Messiah has made me free. Amen. Yes, sir. And be not entangled again uh -huh. with the yoke of bondage. Don't, come on. Now, you, you, you've been working on yourself. Don't be tangled again with the bondage of this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said you've been working on yourself. Don't find yourself being tangled again. Hallelujah. You know how, how easy it is to be entangled again? Hallelujah. Yeah. The same trap over and over and over again. You find yourself going back to the same thing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says entangled again. Y yes, sir. Behold, uh -huh. I, Paul, say to you yes. that if you are circumcised, the uh -huh. Messiah yes. shall profit you nothing. Uh -huh. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised yes, sir. that he is a, do, a de, uh, debtor, debtor to those who uh, to, to do the whole law. You know what? Yeah, we came in here, you baptized, you gone down in Yeshua's name, you born, born again a new creature. You know you're debtor to do this whole thing now? Not just some of it, not stuff that you want, not things that you like, Amen. but you're in debt to do this whole entire thing now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever the Spirit says. So why do you think the Spirit pleads and it's more over and more over and more over? Because uh, we get here, we get tired of hearing the same thing. It's because you've got to come up in these areas. Amen. You know, we talk about it in Arlington, husband and love your wife. Sometimes we don't even want to get, I don't get up here and I don't want to even talk about it. But the Spirit keeps talking about it. Amen. Because it's not going to stop talking about it till all husbands and wives are loving one another. Hallelujah. According to what the spirit, how the Spirit would have us love one another. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said according to how the Spirit would have us loving one another. Yeah, because we have a way we can love one another, but 
but is it the way that the Spirit would have you to love? Amen. Yes, sir. Behold, uh -huh. I, Paul, say to you yes. that if you are suffering. You are circumcised, the Messiah shall, uh, shall profit you nothing. Yes, sir. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised. Uh huh. He, he that is de debtor to do the whole law. Yeah. The Messiah has has become no of effect. no effect to you. Mm -hmm. Whoever whoever of you are justified by the law, yes. you are fallen from grace. So yeah, there's the Messiah has no effect of you. Amen. If you decide to still live by your own ways, we can look at you and see the Messiah has no effect on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so, in other words, we can't get out. It's not enough that the way that we speak. If, we, if, our ways, if our ways don't show the Messiah has an effect on us, there's nothing, else we can, there's nothing else we have for you. This is it. All we have to do to preach unto you is the word. Hallelujah. And that should be enough to change. That should be enough to bring about a change. But here's, uh, let's just jump on down to uh, 15. But if you bite and devour one another, uh -huh. take heed that you are not consumed one of another. Yes, sir. This I say then, mm -hmm. walk in the spirit. Yes. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And see, all that we've been talking about today are these two things here that fit into these two things, the flesh and the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, that's what I love about the house of Yahweh. We don't even have to, we, we can come in here and the spirit thinks the way we need to think. Like, we don't even have to guess on how, how we should walk. Amen. This is pretty plain here. Amen. Read that again. It says, this I say then. This I say then. Uh-huh. Walk in, walk in the spirit. Yes. And you shall not fulfill the lust of, your of the flesh. Yeah, walk in the spirit. Be spiritually minded. Yes, Lord. And you're not going to fulfill the lust of the flesh. I said, walk. To be spiritually minded, it, 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 to be uh, uh, carnally minded is death. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But if we continue to sit there and walk. After the flesh, death is, an, death is uh, ahead for us. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it says, this I say then. This I say then. Uh-huh. Walk in the spirit. Yes. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Uh-huh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. Yes, sir. And the spirit against the flesh. Uh-huh. And these are contrary one to another. Yes, sir. So that you cannot do the things that you would. See why it's so important? It's going to determine whether or not you're going to make it. That's what it's plainly saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we can't. This thing is so much so that we just can't. Our fruits are always going to tell whether or not we're truly doing this thing or not. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said it's our fruits are going to tell. That's why I love about Apostle Washington. That's all he cares about. Amen. Is our fruits. Amen. He doesn't care about what we say because we can say many things. We can, we can talk about many things that we're going to do, have done, will do. We can talk all day long, Amen. but it's going to be our fruits that are going to show whether or not we truly believe this thing, whether we have made this thing our all in all. It's going to be our fruits. The fruits don't lie. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's why it's important. Be here. Like, if you can be here on time, be here on time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it's, it, could be a, it's, it becomes a hinder to the ministry. When we don't find ourselves, when we because that's when we find ourselves leaning to the flesh. I, I'm there with you. My, the flesh gets tired. The flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. So that's why I said this. I say then now don't walk in the walk in the spirit because the spirit is willing to be here on time. The flesh don't care. The flesh don't care if it ever come back. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The flesh don't care if it sees another day here. It don't care. It's like, I don't care. I don't benefit. I'm going back to the dust. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's our soul. It's our inner man, our spiritual man. That's the only thing. That's the thing that's going to live on forever. Hallelujah. <laughs> that, that's the thing that cries out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, that, that's the thing that's going to cry out. So they're against one another. The flesh is against the spirit. The spirit is against the flesh. Hallelujah. 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 Just read a little, just a little bit more. And these things are contrary one to another, uh -huh. so that you cannot do the things that you would. Yes, sir. But if you are led of the Spirit, uh -huh. you are not under the law. Yes, sir. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, mm -hmm. which are these. Yes. Adultery. Yes, sir. Fornication. Just read through them quickly. Unc uncleanness. Mm -hmm. Lasciviousness. Yes. Adultery. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft. Yes. Hatred. Various jealousies, wrath, strife, seditions, uh -huh. and heresies. Yes. Envying, murder. 
drunkenness, revelings, mm -hmm. and such like of which I tell you before. Yes. As I have told you in times past, that mm -hmm. they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. See why it's so important to do what's right to do? Amen. You find ourselves that it fit into any of these shoes here. And so it's also not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we don't, it's no mystery to us what's going to keep us out in that day. Hallelujah. Works of the flesh, that's what's going to keep us out. That's basically what all this is saying. And anything that we lean to our flesh is going to do, that's what's going to keep us out. Hallelujah. You find yourself, you read through here, and you find yourself in one of those. They'll say, well, I got to do what the Spirit is doing said today. I got to purge it out. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir, but read. Let's get to read through the end of this. But fruits of the Spirit is uh -huh. love, yes, joy, sir. and peace, uh -huh. long suffering, yes, sir. gentleness, goodness, and faith, yes. meekness, mm -hmm. temperance. Yeah. Against such, there is no law. See, there's no law for that. Do all that you want. <laughs> Do all, show all the meekness you can. Nobody's going to say, like, you're just being too meek. Yeah. Stop. Stop it. Amen. You got too much joy. No, no, no. Get, the, get that out of here. No, no. Do all that you want. There's no law against all that. Amen. Show all that you want. Yeah, malice, all the stuff we read. Yeah, the Spirit's going to say, get rid of all that. Amen. But all these fruits of the Spirit, show all that. Amen. T temperance, no. Long-suffering, nah. <laughs> You're too long-suffering. Amen. Amen. No, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, that's too, that's greedy. You too, but you no, you're too kind with them. No, no, you're too kind. No, no, no. Come on, stop. Take a little bit of that kind. Take that kindness down. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Get greedy with that. Be kind. Hallelujah. Like Michelle said, a smile on her face. She thought things. We think about these kind of things because it has an impact. Hallelujah. Like you just sitting there the whole time. Nothing, nothing. Amen. So what? So you gonna do this thing? Yeah, I believe in this thing. hundred. I believe in this thing with all my heart. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I, I mean, there's nowhere for else for me to go. Where am I? Like, where am I gonna go to? I mean, I, I put my whole, uh, my, everything into this. Hallelujah. <laughs> so show some joy about yourself that you're excited about doing this. Amen. That you're happy about that you're happy about serving Yahweh. Hallelujah. But just read, finish it out. And, and they that are the messiahs have crucified the flesh uh, with the affections and lusts. Yes, sir. If we live in the spirit, mm -hmm. let us all also walk in the spirit. Uh -huh. Let us not be desirous of vain and glory, yes. provoking one another, desirous. envying one another. Yes. So we hear what, so we hear what the spirit is, is calling for us. Hallelujah. We see what the spirit is calling, how it's, how it's calling for us to be in these last and these evil days. Um, that's all. That's all the Yahweh doors Yahweh has given to me to say this day. Hallelujah! I think Yahweh has been a, it's been an honor to be down here, as it always is in 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 uh, in Lubbock amongst you all. I only ask you just continue to to fight this fight. I know Satan. You know uh, earlier I, I heard what you said, uh, Evangelist, about what Satan. You know Satan desires to tear tear your house apart. You're not the only one. That's what he's desired to do to all of us. He's trying to tear. He's trying to stop this work. He's trying to stop it in Arlington. He's trying to stop it in, in uh, Pacula, Mexico uh, City. Wherever, wherever this work is at, he's trying to stop it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's going to take us. Let, let, uh, you know, at this, at, at this time, you know, this remnant, those of us that are still here, still remaining, still doing this thing, it's time for us to, to make this your all in all. Make this your sure foundation. Say you're not going anywhere. Many have left, but you're saying to yourself, I'm not going anywhere. Because I'm in this thing. I'm in this for salvation. Hallelujah. But I, once again, I thank you. I just ask you just to pray for us because we're, we're going to be, of course, uh, going back to Arlington today. Just pray for us over the dangerous highways. Uh, but it's time, uh, teacher. Let us all rise and receive our beloved teacher Bacon by saying, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise you always, saints. Y'all may be seated. Truly thank you all for the words that come forth from our beloved uh, evangelists. Know that they are right on time. Uh, truly thank you always for, for this place. You know, that we can come here and, and, and worship. But, uh, evangelists, is that it? Is that it? 
the word has been spoken, saints. Truly thank Yahweh <clears throat> that, that we can come here and be taught on who Yahweh wants us to be. Let's, let's put it to work, saints. Not just here, but when we go home as well. Uh, we know the devil is real. And he, and he does want to destroy, not only evangelists, not only in Arlington, but my home too. He's seeking. He's seeking who he can devour. But the word has been spoken and strong enough to, to help us overcome this wicked one. And if we apply it to our life, it will help. But uh, the word, uh, it was time to go further into our service, which is our uh, announcements. Is there, do we have any announcements? Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Uh, just a reminder that the marriage uh, workshop is July 22nd, and it will be at 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at Bo's Gym. And then the marriage seminar is July 23rd, and it will be at regular church time. And also, just a reminder, we are voting for choir director after the service. So we'll hand it over to Pastor Riddle if he has any more instructions he wants to give. And also, if we can keep uh, Evangelist Davis and Brother Christopher in prayer as they make their way home today. And Robert Lee. And Robert Lee and, and Destiny. Yes. And baby Destiny. Amen. <laughs> okay, so as far as what we're voting for for choir director, it's not this person versus that person. It's whoever y'all think will be good for it. That's all it's for. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Anything else? If not for those who need prayer, come up. Bishops will anoint your head and pray for you. Now let's all stand. Bow our heads. Lift our minds towards Yahweh. <clears throat> Heavenly Father Yahweh, we come before you through your son's name, Yahshua the Messiah. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for the words that you continue to give us, Lord Yahweh. We ask that you please help us, Father Yahweh, that we may overcome ourselves and this wicked one, that we be the light of the world, that you have called us out of this world to be, Father Yahweh. We ask that you be with the saints here, the saints in Arlington, the saints in Mexico, Apostle Father Yahweh. Be with those who are making their way back home, Father Yahweh, from here to love. Uh, from here to Arlington, we ask that you touch those who are sick and afflicted amongst us, Lord Yahweh. Touch them and heal them, Father. Without you in our lives, we are nothing and we will fail. We give thanks unto Yah for his good and his mercy endureth forever. Let, let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. forever. Let them now who fear it Yahweh say his mercy endureth forever. forever. And the church says, Amen. Amen.